first coupon. Having that really powerful all right? right? His ability to shuffle between the cards and have the right situation, the right, the right pick me for the right opportunity. Yeah, no, Shuto in general has just been playing really strong against uh, Leo uh, in the first place. Got that super dominant win over Leo in the tournament yesterday, the pre-tournament. Pre-prime saga. We'll see Pokemon Trainer Olimar going up against Javi and Leo, Lucina Wolf. Grand Finals of Prime Time. Let's see who's going to take on the goal of BT Japan or the combination of Team Mexico and Leo and Javi. But the beautiful Javi going in. Completely shutting down that Pokemon Trainer stock saying, yeah, man, uh, put the Wolf back on the bench. <laughs> or put the Pokemon Trainer back on the bench. We need Wolf on the squad. Really sick stuff from Javi. Really just pissed off the positive. She trying to be able to who he has to shut down, right? The power player that is Leo. And Zachary Ely looking to stop that. I like the fact that he's working for that neutral. It's pretty fast for the hip-hop. You can never probably stop the fourth flash. But you gotta be careful, right? Because you might get speed spotted from the whole flash. You can get right there. Oh, you're very good for us. Nice taking Shudan's first stock. The team of uh, Leo and Avi already showing that they got what it takes to do really well in the set. Chomper's gonna go low. No, goes high with the. Oh my goodness, the wolf, uh, the fire wolf into the back air from Lucina from all the way across the stage. Okay, Leo getting a. Oh wow, she's not getting all these down airs at the ledge. Perfect opportunity for Zachary to know when he needs to put it in the position. Nice. I'm really liking the Javi's Lucina against Almar here, just fighting him off the stage, forcing me up being swinging at him, Rick, uh, relentlessly. Yeah, look at Zachary. Oh, the boy not going to bring him off the stage. You really know Leo putting Zachary in a tough spot. Both Zachary and Javi off stage, so Javi gets back on. Oh, TV combo here. I was actually surprised he didn't go for the dare yeah. after he got that, but still really good damage. Great awareness from Javi, but oh, oh he's no. going to drop his first stock to an SD. I mean, if, if you're going to drop your first stock at high percent, uh, then SD isn't so bad. Yeah. I mean, you never want to lose your stuff in general, but you're right. Like, SD, SD can't really do stuff like that. At high percent, I guess I might as well look at your opponent like, yo, I was going to get rid of it in anyway. Yeah. Back throw, and Galeo for the follow-up here. Playing Zachary off stage for the edge guard. He's on in a rough spot. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Clean up smash. Sees the. Oh. Oh, yeah, and Zachary's gonna. All right, I'm not gonna try to do this for stock comeback, man. Yeah. You, you guys got it. Maybe, maybe I'll put my chair needs to return to the Pokeball. <laughs> and uh, get the, the wolf ditto between Leo and uh, Zachary. Yeah. Possibly. It, I wonder how long they've been doing this uh, Pokemon Trainer uh, Olimar team. I mean, like, it's what got him in the Grand Finals. Yeah, I, I wonder if they've been doing it all the way to Grand Finals and they haven't switched off uh, yet. Alright, well, we're discussing the game. Can't pull Cowboys, Pokemon League. You know, it's it's kind of like an FD with graceful platforms that we around for different oh, levels of oh, starting. Right, you kind of have the main battle taking place center stage, but when it comes down to the edge guard, you got to watch the top. It can work to and against your favor. Especially mm. with characters like Wolf. Now we are seeing Zachary stick to the Pokemon Trainer. I actually agree with him sticking to Pokemon Trainer on this stage just because he has more room to work around with. He won't get smothered as much as he did before by uh, Leo's Wolf and um, Hobby's Lucina. Let's see what they can do here though. What happened to Leo? Alright, well I know. I was about to say that. What happened to Leo? Anyway. <laughs> I, I think Lucina is a much better uh, team pick than Marth because you don't have to worry about spacing the tippers. And I think Lucina is definitely putting in work before that and put two two. So I can prove your point. Oh my goodness, completely destroyed again. Hobby's just been destroying Zachary's Pokemon Trainer first stock consistently. In terms of the edge guards, that recovery is just so easy to counter as Charizard. And, uh, Basically what he's doing is he's hitting him out of his jumps and forcing him to switch to that uh, hitbox up B of Charizard. And he can get the stock. Leo though, getting in there, the forward tilt, forcing Zachary out the ledge again. Zachary with the landing back, we're able to catch... Sorry, Zachary with the landing back, we're able to catch Zachary. Leo forced to down. Okay, sorry. I'm just seeing Zachary. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I mean... 
I don't know, the Pokemon Trainer continues to kind of struggle here. I wouldn't be surprised if the Wolf Switch. Yeah. Well, it goes back to how Xana saw Mars and Light play against other matches right here back and forth. Oh, my goodness. Going back and forth with the up B, finishing it off with the up smash. Leo just getting to press all the buttons he wants. But there goes Zachary finally getting that stock off of the Xena. Recovery? No. No time. Kaleo is coming back from the respawn platform. Still in a really good spot here with the boot. Zachary is going to die really soon. Honestly, I'm surprised he's staying squirtle in a situation like this. So light. There's a switch to Ivysaur. Yeah, you're, at the top, you're actually the top three of the lightest character in the game. Being squirtle is a big aggressive talking about. Being able to get damage. Damage turns into a stock over time. How do you move the up? So going to have to be next to possible for like three Owen. Oh yeah, they're definitely fighting super hard. Yeah, we're looking like at the grand final reset. And again, this is this these guys' first encounter with each other in this tournament, so Holly was uh, not really prepared to see this Wolf and Messina fight this strongly. Yeah. Oh, the down smash catching the spot dodge. Leo's just being so clean with getting that to close out these stocks. Another down smash just sent him off the stage, but Purple coming in, clutch catching the spot dodge from Leo. She's gonna try to make something happen here. Poppy off stage. Down smash. Oh, okay. Yo, man, just count for me how many times Leo has come to the Maybe the chat can count. It's definitely <laughs> in the set alone. It's, it's in the dozens already. But I don't blame him, man. It's so such a strong hitbox, very fast and like very little in lag. Dude, it's, the chaos of doubles kind of lends it uh, more op uh, opportunity for that move to connect. Yeah. There's the back end. You can kind of tell Zafra just trying to get that space back in. Charizard, the pressure wasn't able to find it. And Leo finds his back end right where he needs it. Leo, let's do a 2v1. Uh, every member of. Uh, each team is on their last dock, so it's not impossible to make this happen, but it's going to be really difficult. We already seen Leo and Javi. I haven't lost a 2v1 situation at all so far on screen. But if anyone's going to do it, it's character Olimar. He has, if he needs the right lineup, he can definitely make something happen with the early stock. Purple staying in his possession, making something happen. Backers is barely enough to hang on there. Okay. He's back in the lineup he's looking for. Just the white damage on Javi. Both of them, but now he has two purples. So he can do nice catches the shield poke. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Right through the platform. Oh my goodness, that was so scary. Good time. Once that closer, possibly trying to get back on the stage and take a spot here. That tilts the purple oh. away, and that'll do it. Javi and Leo staying consistent in the 2v1, closing that out, and moving up 2 0 in the grand finals. Let's see, uh, well, I don't We talked about it earlier, right? They haven't actually been able to play against each other. This is their first encounter. Yeah. And for MKLeo and Avi to have this momentum here, it's no big surprise to be able to get a Grand Finals reset and even send them home at one of <laughs> You really just don't want the reset, man. So I always thought he'd be like, at this point we should be used to it, right? All the MSMs we have with like 300. I feel like there's... <laughs> Look at James. <laughs> He's like, reason, please. <laughs> Not for me. These players are all so incredible, man. You shouldn't be surprised to see it reset. Shout out to the James, man. Run up the stream. Are you actually doing something? He's just out there cooking. <laughs> all right, now well, let's go into We'll see if the reset will come through here. Zachary not going to put the Pokemon trainer into the Pokeball yet. He's going to keep it out there. I feel like he's just missing that one opportunity to put him right in the floor and back in, back in the earlier games. Yeah, honestly, each game so far on his first stock has gotten destroyed by Hobby. He doesn't really get a chance to get started with his uh, Pokemon trainer when the match starts out. He's like the best start he's had so far in the set. Okay, Leo go. Wow. Super, gone. Super's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sujan's so good at uh, getting these edge guards, especially if he has the purple on deck in that snipe on stage with the side B. Oh, nice interception from Javi Lee and the Wolf uh, picking up with the back there. He was trying to carry him off stage with the Ivysaur uh, neutral air, maybe in an early shot in the up B, but uh, Javi was there to interrupt that. Oh, 
smoking the river, red team all stays, Leo getting ready for a down smash, gotten so many stocks with it. Don't know. Good opportunity for Javi to go for a fight out, right? Checking out. Zachary can't come in here and think about it anymore. Zachary can't wait to see Mind Killer looking to recover. I don't even understand if he's on that air. For the down here, no, no time. Javi actually again seeing that Zachary's trying to go for the edge guard with the uh, down air intersects it perfectly, showing that these guys' teamwork is no joke. He covers the roll with the L smash. MK Leo, man, getting so many stocks. It's kind of weird to actually see like Pokemon trainer. Oh, oh and it's Charizard. I was, I was about to say like it's kind of weird to actually see somebody stuck on Charizard as Pokemon trainer for that long because you blow up, you do have a big hurt box. Yeah, it's so risky to use Charizard and double it. You do like to have like that heavy weight to stay alive longer and maybe get the kills as well earlier, but once it gets caught in between two of these characters like Eugene and Wolf, he's gonna take so much damage. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, to me, Pokemon trainer is I have a sword friend, bro. You got Squirtle who like out here doing the damage, he tags I have a sword in, and you got Charizard in there because of course you can't use the fan service character, right? You can't have Pokemon without Charizard. You can't have Pokemon with that dude. Love, people love their Charizard cards. Anyways, Angel, that Charizard is going to definitely put that back throw and buy Team Japan a little bit of time. He's going to throw 1v1 here, and Kaleo knows what's going on. He's able to stop a true combo with the punishment on Bobby. Shuton's doing a really good job putting the team on his back. Even though uh, everyone else is in their last stock, he's hanging on with his. Zagger with a beautiful carry to stay alive here. Oh my goodness, oh, the no, animation. Oh, uh, Leo's gonna take that stock off, but then Javi takes out Zachary. And just and now like we that. got and the, just like that, we got a 1v1. And this is like the best situation for uh Shuton. Yeah. He's so good at this matchup with uh Olimar. Yeah. Alright, well Javi, definitely seen him have a different read. See what he can do because he's so far losing the percent here. Good oh. run away into the forward smash. Baking out shoots on the 50 might have been safe to come back to the stage. As I said that, man, I know I said Shootout was amazing at this matchup, but the way Harvey Space is putting the sword exactly where it needs to be, making it really rough for Shootout to get in. Yeah. I mean, once he lands, he has to deal with uh, the sword swipes over and over. I'm telling you, man, he plays in the scene of a different breed. Every single man is different from the other. Worry about these purples though, trying to position himself on the stage, land on top of him with the down air, base out the whistle, really good pace there from Hobby. But the F smash covering the spot dodge. And Shuton with great eyes, he's gonna have to go a little bit deeper to recover. Oh, yeah, Needs him hit. landing on the platform, so talked about it earlier, right? Oh. Kalos really good for different edge levels of edge guarding. Alright, the purple pigment on deck though, Shuton's fighting back as best he can, doesn't catch the roll, he's gonna get thrown on stage here. Got the bar throw for opportunity for Hobby to get stage control and reason with the ledge. Great patience with the absolute covering the neutral get up. Purple on the stage here. She's gonna try to mix up as best as he can, but the nair landing unsafe. How he faces it so well. Get the closing it out and getting the reset 3 0 now. J Max Auto Shambles. J Max Auto Shambles. Debbie, too. You can tell she's in shambles. We're like, man, I gotta wait here longer for you, too. All right, here we go. The reset is online now from MK Leo and Javi looking super strong in their first set encounter between Zachary and Shutal. Yeah. No, oh, he's wrote he's wrote out the whole set with Pokemon Trainer. Zachary looking like he's kind of playing maybe a character switch here. He does have the Wario on deck too. Like that's not just the Wolf. He has a Lucina of his own. So. Uh, yeah, Zachary kind of a meta character player, right? He's used to playing the meta characters and also helps him in certain matches to understand how it's better. So we talked about it earlier, like every player plays a character a little bit different than the other. And the way that Abby plays this game is a little bit unorthodox to Shuton's understanding, right? He's usually good at the matchup here, but Abby's a little bit different. Yeah, that's kind of what brought this grand final three set to fruition. It came down to the one boom between Abby and Shuton. Of course, this is Japan's last shot at the pole. Right. Uh, I mean, uh, he's really maybe using the Pokemon chain. I guess if they've rolled it out the entire tournament so far, he doesn't really want to switch to a team competition. They probably haven't practiced as much. Let's see how it works, though. Game of the reset. Oh my goodness. MK Leo again. This down smash kill kill count is just way too high, dude. He's like right there when the opponent does like a lagging move. Right, it just gets right in there where he needs to be, swings the down smash. I mean, Wolf at this point is down smash again. 
it, I have completely underestimated the strength of that down smash and F smash in teams. Just because it's so much chaos in teams, like, much easier to catch them off guard while they're fighting your partner. Yeah. Even there, just be there for your defensive options your opponent might be throwing out after you fight your partner. Oh, raw up B. Oh, okay, I was about to say, like, that's, that's nice level. If that actually would have killed Shusun, that would have been nice level. I mean, to be honest, Leo throws out that up B more than I see other groups. Oh, but Shutan catching the second there for a good measure. Taking out that stock. Leo, though, so you can get a team to confirm here. Zachary on the other side of the stage, nowhere near his partner. Leo shuts down that stock, and Javi doing his job to take out Le or sorry, shoots on stock as well. Already on his last stock, applying tons of pressure here for the red team. Not really letting Alfmar set up like he wants to. Great save from Leo, man. Get that laser out wide. Uh, well, Zachary's trying to get a combo on Javi. We need the four air uh, down air. Pressing him on the other side of the stage. Oh, and he covers the neutral get up perfectly. You mentioned it earlier, right? You have so much to prove when you get the left first match, and there's so much chaos going around. And the loss, not only does that guy have to come for him getting back on stage, but what Shutan is doing to help him get back on stage. He's on a little bit busy trying to get out of the way. Well, Leo's really looking really strong right now. Back of the ledge again. Leo's just charging up the down smash, keeping the pressure here. Leo, it's like she's trying to alleviate that. Makes his teammates not the safe place to get back to the stage. There comes Javi. And they just cannot get stage control. As soon as they get on the stage, they just get slide back off. But double kill from Zachary. Double smash in the up B. Alright, it's best to hang on here, even up the stock count. Oh! It's an opportunity that Zachary's been looking for, right? But Nair to catch the wolf. Oh, out. but the team kill. Tried to punish the side or the uh, neutral beat from Javi. Accidentally hits his own partner. And now he's a high percent Charizard in a 2v1 between amazing hitbox characters. Really rough situation to be in. Yeah. And like I said, Leo and Javi have not lost a 2v1 at all since the tournament started. Or since they've been on stream, so. There it is, the anti-air of Smash. It's so good, too, because at that opportunity, right, the way that Zachary wanted to play, he kind of just didn't want to be on the field. He just wanted to be able to zoom around on it entirely. Technically 4-0. Yeah. You have to drop a game yet. Yo, man, let's wrap it up, though. Let's get that six and set us back in for day two. Of course, if you guys are wondering, man, the action will stop at the stream, but the action does not stop at the venue. This is a 24-hour venue, man. Now we request it. And if you guys are wondering, no Prime Saga is not a three-day event. It is typically a four-day event. You got the pre-Prime Saga. Saga itself on day one, Saga itself on day two. I'm the post Saga yeah. MSM. That's like always a super stacked MSM. But uh, we have to get through these doubles, grand finals before we even get to that point. And uh, really, yeah, okay, I'm really curious to see when Zachary is going to put the Pokemon trainer on the bench, bring out another character. Yeah, it's about time for him to make the change, right? You, when you go 4 0 with no response, it's about time to yeah. hang up that character and see what you can do with someone else. Yeah, Wario is another one of his strong characters as well, and an amazing team character in general, as we've been seeing pretty much all weekend with Sam Sora and Tweet, as well as Gluttony and Nairo. Yeah. Danger of the Walk, really amazing hitboxes, and very heavy as well. Yeah, having that Umi threat right, as a walk is super powerful, especially with the timer on the deck. Yeah. Just, uh, he's been looking much better with the Wolf so far. Like, able to just follow up off his partner much easier than he was with Pokemon Trainer. Stays here though. Saves his jump. He's gonna make it back to the ledge safely. Oh, but oh, no tag. tag! Oh man, Javi, so relentless off stage. He doesn't even care what character you are. He's gonna go off there and make it really rough for you to come back. Really unfortunate for Zachary to drop an early stack like that because he was performing really well with the Wario. I like it. We're checking to see how Shuton's gonna make the recovery here using both of his jumps. Of course, Shuton is picking an option where he'll hit the land and go in there. The down smash is so scary. Did a really lag move in front of Leo. 
back throw, and Leo trying to capitalize really off the go. He's missing the mark by a few characters short. Kind of ledger gaming. Oh, but this rolls in, but uh, gets the dash attack in there from Zach Ray, getting the first back off off stage, but Leo is so scared of the situation where he has you at the ledge. But, uh, I don't know, I feel like the Royal Pick has been working out really well for him because he has more mix ups to get off the ledge instead of just meaning to do some get up like he was before. Yeah. He can use that double jump and use the bite. He use the bite, but anti air rush match with Leo again. Taking out Shootdown's first stock. Oh! Oh, oh buffered it, air dodge off stage, Zachary. Exactly. <laughs> just for the men's kill. After SD saying, you know what, I'm going to drop that stock by. I'm going to get uh, stock trade right here in this situation. Yeah, of course, you have an ability as well. Yeah. It's pretty big. I'll be on his last stock as well. Pretty even thing, uh, match so far. Most things go. Blair really close to dying. She's going to try to get something started here. Yes, gets the back air on the neutral get up. And now we got a really even game here. It just really depends on how long Zachary can stay alive and yeah. then close off these stocks. At 71%, I am going to be really thirsty to get Zachary. And Avi's opportunity here to fight Zachary. Could be one on one here. Gets the fourth, but looking to set up himself with the edge guard. Even respects. Oh, no, oh, tech no tech tech again. again. And you can see the little bit of a frustration on Zachary, right? Actually, he certainly wasn't able to check on that one. Yeah, when I saw him drifting with the bike like that, I thought he was playing to, you know, have a more interesting recovery, but he just put himself in the perfect spot to get upbeat, and now she comes in a 2v1. Where's these guys? They have yet to drop one. They've been so solid in the situation to clutch up these games. This is also a really hard situation to be in a 2v1 where he has, like, uh, you cannot pull out your finger, but the jab lock set up. Okay. I immediately kind of understand the fact that Shukun actually has to stop that one because he knows Enfilet was so close to getting it afterwards. Good opportunity for Enfilet to start forcing Shukun to go low. Oh. Wow, that was actually so smart from Javi. He threw his partner in the air to have the throw invincibility on Shukun's F smash. Oh, oh back yeah, air. Yeah, super yep. deep back air. Yeah, Olimar with no hitbox on his up B. Pretty much a Satan duck there. And now MK Leo are going to go up 2-0 in the Grand Finals, man. These guys showing that we're still, we still got what it takes, man. You're still one of the best doubles teams. Yeah, we, we, don't, need, we don't need, we don't need, we don't need you, Sheik. We don't need Sheik. We don't need Double Cloud. We don't even need Bale. We don't even need Mark. All right? One we game got, away. Yeah, one game away. I mean, and it, it's so good for, for, for Zachary to kind of understand why he might be making mistakes, where he even switched off to Wario. The biggest problem here is the way that Javi kind of had Zachary off the screen. She kind of forced him to make sure he was going to go low and catch him with yeah. what is essentially feels like a two-frame from Lucina's RP, right? It's kind of hard to detect that because it's frame one in the air. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really rough. Even with the forward air, he just... His friends of the mind off stage with this character we've seen, and it just been pretty much phenomenal. Entire time in these uh, doubles bracket. Yeah, I just think it's so great that uh, Leo is a player that gets so much off the hit and can go super aggressive in teams, and then he has a person like Javi to cover it for little openings he makes for himself. Kind of what makes him an amazing team. Uh, wow, amazing team player in general. But there goes Javi, or sorry, Leo, doing another force smash kill off the air. F smash on the neutral get up. Guys are not slowing down at all. The team combos on Wario. Going back and forth. She's not trying to make something happen off stage. Javi able to barely inch himself back on there. Zachary looking for the oh, coverage. He gets all oh, the no, on the footstool. He paid the price oh, for that man. one. Zachary went so hard off stage to make something happen, but ends up getting footstool for his troubles. You know, man, never be, that's what you that's what you want to get to bring in the first date, right? You don't want to give away yourself all the way. Zachary for the price. Leo again at the edge, where he's been so strong at getting these stocks. Zachary having him sit off stage, maybe to make something happen there. Doesn't get the trade he's looking for. Shoots on force to take care of the edge guard. And oh my goodness, that deep. I'm not sure we got, we got hit by there. I think the pigman was coming back and it hit him. I, I gotta get the clip on that. That was, that was crazy. <laughs> Still though, really solid lead here for the blue team. Zachary already on his last stock. 
the back throw. Nice. Hits both members of the red team there. The red team are now kind of struggling. If, if Shuton loses, if they kill Zachary and Shuton and he takes the chair spot, all they got to do is eliminate Shuton. Leo just charging the smash. They're so safe on shield. She's not going to do anything to punish. And now he doesn't even have the opportunity to share stock. This is a huge, huge lead for the blue team, honestly. Leo's wrapping it up. Another stock run. And now she's on in a 2v1 yet again against four stocks. This might be it. <laughs> okay, Leo going to take <laughs> off the stage. Yeah, man, you can even hear PK. Like, he's already giving him the chat. <laughs> he already knows who won. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Yeah. MK Leo Javi closing it out 6 0 oh, from Luigi's bracket. They are doubles champions. Another doubles tournament in the books under the bag for Team uh, Mexico, MK Leo Javi. Yeah. <laughs>